can they not trace the lot of where the ammo came from and uh, match it from his ammo? They can, okay? If they have a box to compare it to. And that, even then, is more difficult than one would think because you're probably not going to send it in a like a small town store. They might get a part of a lot where the big store gets a big box store gets the rest of the lot. Okay. So who knows? And uh, that I, I'm assuming that's probably, there's a lot of folks around there that hunt. A lot of people who've testified, testified that they hunt, uh, you know, be it hogs or, or whatever. This shell, for instance, you can't see anything on it. You can see it says Remington. You can see kind of that it says two and three quarter. Uh, this one, you can see that it's a Remington. All it says is two and three quarter, 76 millimeter, nine pellet, double lot buck, Remington Express Magnum. And it doesn't even say Magnum. It just says Express. Now, I'm telling you that because there's not a lot on each shell. And they're to my knowledge, wasn't a box found at the scene. So that would be difficult. Um, I'm sure if somebody really dove into it and all they were focused on was ammunition and and doing metallurgical matches, and uh, I mean, that's a whole new can of worms. But somebody could probably figure out close to where the ammunition came from. But there's no telling, you know, uh, did he have some of the same shells at the house? I don't know because if the if he didn't, the state's not going to talk about it. I promise you. Not not if he didn't. If he did, they would have brought it up. It would be my assumption. I know that for a fact. But that's my thoughts on that. I hope that helps you in some kind of way. I'm trying to do the best I can with keeping up with with folks' comments and stuff. So, but if it doesn't help, let me know. Ask another question. I'll be happy to answer it.